Good morning, good morning, and welcome back to Jody Lewis Creations. This is my second time trying to film for day two, and um, goodness, I started one thing after I finished filming day one, then yesterday went outside and it took us hours to deal with snow, and I never came back in here because I was just too tired when we were done, and then this morning I was looking through the digital because I really wanted to make a page commemorating yesterday. So what I started to do, I um, am not going to do. <laughs> and here we are. So I have my journal here. And um, so if I'm kind of working in order, the next day would be like this, which I've inked and I really like it, but I don't know that the, these colors are gonna work. So what I'll do is show you what I, I picked out. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for your continued support. Um, I'm really tired today. I have a little bit of a scratchy throat. Mark is not feeling well at all. So he's getting in the shower. So if my voice comes and goes, I apologize. Okay, so yesterday, to fill you in, we dealt with probably about 30 inches of snow-ish. Um, so far, the totals for our area are about 40 inches of snow. And well, that was as of, I don't know what time. Anyway, it's we've gotten more since then. So I'm sure we're up to 42, 43, 44, I don't know. And the forecast says another one to two feet by Tuesday. And that does not include the snow that's in the forecast for Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. <laughs> The 10 day is like snowy every day. Um, for those of you who do not know, I am up in the very northeast tip of Ohio. Um, I'm about 11 miles from Pennsylvania and three miles south of Lake Erie. So all this Great Lakes stuff that is impacting between Cleveland and Erie, I'm right in the middle of it. Um, so we, it's just been crazy. So I'll tell you a little bit about yesterday, but first I'll explain the digitals that I printed and kind of what we're going to do. So today we're gonna to do an emboss resist technique. So it's gonna be a lot, of bit of, uh, a lot of fun. And I have a lot of snowflake stamps here on the table. I'm not gonna use them all. I just wanted to I have them out to see like what sizes work. This is an image from Tracy's kit. And now I can't remember which one I pulled it out of. Maybe the Magic Toy Shop. Um, but anyway, this just made, let me, it just, just feels like small town, small community. And that's what I live in is a small community. And like, this is kind of a Victorian style home. We're kind of a mixed bag of homes where I live. We have, um, Victorian, we have uh, Western reserve. We have a little bit more modern, like the almost colonial style homes, but this is an old community. Um, anyway, so this just kind of says community and it's snowing, which, Luckily, yesterday, we did get a break from the snow, so it allowed us to dig out <laughs> in preparation for round three. Oh, my gosh. Anyway, so there's that. I have this image is like what our road looks like literally right now. It's covered again in snow, and yesterday it was cleared off because the sun peaked out for a little bit. So that just kind of is an image that reminds me of the road. Part of the story, I will tell you. I'm going to use Santa, and this is like, I'm going to use it like a sleigh, but we'll get there. And then, my bird feeder is red, and the cardinal, m Mama and Daddy were out there. And um, there's no female cardinals in this kit, which I wish there was, but that's okay. We're going to use the mail. And then I printed these for a backing. Okay, so there's that. So moving forward, I'll get these cut out. But first, I want to tell you what we're going to do. I think I am gonna leave this page, but I'm going to use it as like a pocket because this is all oxide. If I get it wet, it's going to activate. So I'm gonna pull my sheet music out and it's clearly too tall. I love the texture of the top of this. So I'm either gonna fold this up to stabilize it or cut it off. I haven't gotten that far yet. And again, I apologize for my voice. I will go get a cough drop if I need to. It's just a little bit uh, cray cray this morning. Okay, so I do love that, but I would rather have the music than that. Than that. So it's just too tall for the journal. So I'm gonna cut this down to eight and a half. 
So I hope everybody is doing well. I know Bernice, you and I were messaging this morning and um, hopefully you guys don't get as much as we have for sure. Cut off the right end. Um, I just can't believe this. And like friends are, uh, one of our friends is in Key West and right now already. And um, they're like, oh, that's why we don't stay in the Northeast during the bad weather. <laughs> that doesn't help me right now. <laughs> Does not help me right now. And then another friend is like, any word on getting your RV fixed? And I'm like, no, nothing, nothing yet. Um, I just don't know if we're going to be able to escape this this year. <sighs> anyway, so I've seen people saying that old man winter has awakened from his six year slumber. And I'm like, he can go back to sleep. <laughs> he needs to go back to sleep. Okay. So what we're going to do is emboss resist. <clears throat> now there's lots of ways you can do this. You can, um, use you know your Versamark, you can use your pen, you can use your sprays. I'm just going to use my Versamark here because I'm going to do two different colors. I have this clear with some sparkle and I have this snowflake tinsel and I think that'll be a fun sparkly bit on our page. So I but I need to choose one and actually I've never used this so I need to test this to see if the color is even one that I want to use. So let's test this on a spare piece of paper and then if we like it, we can always cut that snowflake out and use it somewhere else. So let me get this opened. I will test it on a page and then I'll come back and tell you what I've decided to use. Okay, so this one is the clear with the glitter. The, don't mind this dark glitter here that's like overlay. And I love that iridescent sheen to that. And then we have this one with the actual glitter. So if you watched part one, you'll know that one of the things I love about the snow with um, the sun shining is that it looks like glitter flying around. And I love, love, love that. So I think I'm going to use both. And why not? Okay. So I'll set this aside. But I do love that. I love that. And you'll see what we're going to do. So what we're going to do is, first off, I'm going to heat emboss snowflakes all over this page. And um, once I get that done, I will come back and show you what the next step is and why I love this technique. So um, this just really works really, really well. I love it. And you're probably familiar with it, um, but it is called emboss resist. And so I'm going to use a combination of those and then um, get, get them done and get them heat embossed and then I'll come back. Okay, so the first color is done, and you may say, Jody, that doesn't look like much, but just wait for it. So I'm gonna do the second one now, and then I'll come back and show you the second one and how that looks, and we'll proceed. Okay, so I have heat embossed this. Now, I, I want to stress to you, if you're going to do this, make sure that you have all of your embossing to your liking because if you don't and you go on to the next step, you can't undo it. Um, I mean, there are workarounds, of course. You can do things to still embellish further or whatever, but you cannot, the technique itself is do the embossing first and then what we're going to do next. So I did bring in just a plain clear because I realized the way I had done my stamping, I wasn't happy with it. And I am really not sure about this because it says snowflake tinsel and it's got different layers of color here. So I'm like, did I not melt that enough? I'm not sure. I'm going to heat it again with my heat tool one more time just to be sure because the next step, if that's not completely melted, I'm going to take it off. So uh, that's another tip. Just make sure everything is melted and to your satisfaction before we go on to the next step. It was a good thing I was, I reheated that because some of the, this wasn't melted and I don't know if I love that as a product. That remains to be seen. 
Okay, so we have that done. And then what I want to do is I kind of want a gray background. And so one of the colors in the Distress Ink that is a little bit of a... I've done this before on a winter background. And it was so funny because I was like trying to do more of a light... Oh, you know what? Do I want to do that or Stormy Sky? Hmm, that's what I have to determine because I don't want it super gray and gloomy. Stormy Sky might be a little too not the right color. Do you like that explanation? Not the right color. So let's get our blue out. And this one... I don't really have a gray, but I have a black. I hear horns honking out here. We're gonna might be another interesting day. We're just getting so much snow coming down. All right, so let's see. I'm liking the blue. I do like the gray. It is pretty gray out. Maybe I can kind of blend the two colors together. So I'm going to do blue first. Um, no, I'm going to do a little bit of gray first, and then I'm going to do some blue. And then, so I have a mess. I have <laughs> glitter and embossing powder everywhere. Sometimes it just doesn't matter what you do. You're still just going to have a mess on your page. So... I need like a bigger page to work on here. Uh, I can do this because this will clean up. This is a good opportunity for me to have my Timmy glass mat out, isn't it? But do I have it out? Nope, I put it away. All right, so let's get some dark going around here and we're just gonna ink it. Just, you know, it doesn't have to be a perfect ink. Like we're going with stormy, cloudy skies it's still snowing we have all of our snowflakes coming down right which i will again i'll try to remember to put some of the video and um stuff that i took you yesterday and some this morning and just so you can kind of like see what it is we've got going on maybe you don't live in an area where you get snow or you know you're just like i don't understand like why <laughs> what's the deal the deal is, it is a lot of snow coming down. All right, so I'm just going to keep, let's see, let's add a, just a little bit of blue. I don't want a lot of blue leaning on the table, sorry. So I'm just gonna add, just for a little nuance of color to get some blue on here. My son just called, so I have to go tell Mark what he said. The youngest one that lives locally that's dealing with this as well. So you can see we're just getting a little bit of light coloring to our background. It's kind of like the winds blowing everything around. The clouds. All right. And then what I'm going to do is see how much more color I want to add. Oh, sorry. And I'm really tired today, you guys. Yesterday really kicked our behinds. I mean, we literally were out for like six hours, over, over six hours, dealing with the snow yesterday. I mean, it literally took hours to get ourselves dug out. And then trying to help the neighbors and stuff, which of course we want to do, and you know, just to be part of our little community here. Um, yeah, it's just a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. I hear somebody shoveling is what I'm hearing. Okay, so the depth of color that you get depends on how much ink you want to add to your page, right? So then what we're going to do is just come across this with a wipe gently because it's going to activate with our background colors, but it'll take the ink off of the top of our heat embossing and pushes that color to the background 
and let your snowflakes be in the forefront, which is a fun technique to do. So hopefully you just learned something and enjoyed that. And then we will continue to embellish our page. And you can spray your inks, you can do this, you can just use your ink dauber. Lots of things you can do. I'm gonna heat this with my heat tool again to dry it before we move on. And peek my head out the window to see who's doing what out here. Okay, I'm kind of excited. I took a break for lunch and um, came back. Obviously I'm back, right? Hello. <laughs> Anyway, I got the Stampin' Up! embossing stuff out, and so I just used my trowel, my little paint palette thingy. That's not the right word. Knife. Paint knife. And I put it on, and then I just took it and just kept doing this, and really gave it some, like, raised texture. And um, have a few kind of big chunks, but that's okay. It's like the snow plow pushed it up into piles there. I mean, we are literally at a point where I don't even know where we're going to put the rest of the snow that's supposed to come. Like, we're having a hard time with piling it beside the driveway. And, like, across the street, they share a driveway. And so, like, the driveways are like this, and they just have the strip in the middle. And so that's, like, totally... I don't even know what they're going to do. And when the, all this starts melting, oh, good Lord, it's going to be crazy. Okay, so this, this is like my page. Like, it's going to open. Oh, oh, it's fine. I, I scared myself because that's sticking up, but it's eight and a half. And these are a little bit smaller because when I print, they have borders and I cut the borders off. Whew, scared myself. Okay, so this is going to go here as a pocket, Okay. And I really like that because I had to add the shimmer. And I decided to put it on this side because, I don't know, somehow this to me is working with this picture. And then um, I, um, focus Jody, focus. So I'm gonna glue that down as a pocket, but I just wanna make sure that's good and dry. When I cut this image out, I don't know if you can see that. I left like, I don't know, a little bit more than a quarter of an inch, that's probably three-eighths of an inch, and glued that down and folded it over, and that's gonna stabilize the edge of that pocket. So if you've been following me, you know that's something I like to do. I like to not just rely on my paper to be strong enough if we're putting things in and out. I wanna make sure that it's got enough support that it's not going to be damaged if I am putting things in and out of there. And I should have inked this before I started filming again, and I apologize. I just want to hit that edge really quickly. This is Scorched Timber. I wanted a darker ink than the Ground Espresso. I just felt like the Ground Espresso just, it just wasn't doing it for me today. All right, so our pocket is drying, so that's going to go there, okay? I did just finish printing. A few bits. See, I just love that. I just think that's gonna look so nice together. I hope those colors are conveying and I'll pick it up in just a few minutes. I printed out the sheriff uh, taking us to the level three snow emergency warning yesterday. And um, man, he's going fast. Snow plow just went by and I'm like, whatever that is, is going fast, it's the plow. And this was, and I need to look at the timestamp on my picture when I screenshotted the weather bug app because these are the bands of the snow that were going through when I took this picture yesterday. Cause all of this is what was like um, coming across us. And then it's me with the snow blower, Mark with the snow blower. And then us just trying to find some joy in yesterday's chaos mess. <laughs> trying to get stuff cleaned up. So those I want to make sure they're good and dry before I put them in here. Okay, so there are those things. Now we still have Santa that I want to add and I think with this what I want to do is I'm going to cut this out and then I'm just going to make this like a little pocket and then the Santa tag can go in there and I think that will be fine tucked behind here. And then I know I still want to do the cardinal because I did see the cardinal on the feeder yesterday. Um, and I saw a comment and I will have to look. Let me look really quickly and see who that was. Carol Laws. And you said uh, you would love to see a real cardinal. So I'm curious, where do you live um, and you don't have them there? 
Um, they are absolutely beautiful. It depends on the backdrop. They can look very, very vibrant, very red, and oftentimes they actually have more of an orange tint to them. Um, and the females are a beautiful color, but their beaks are really orange. I mean, they're just such a beautiful bird. And, um, you know, they, they do say, as I said in the video for yesterday, that um, the cardinals are visitors from heaven. And so since we have two sets that live here, I would like to think that Mark's grandma and my grandma are both represented in the cardinals that are here. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, so it just makes me happy. So I'm, gonna, I'm trying to decide which one of these I want to use. And to be perfectly honest, I'm thinking about just hinging them and using them like a little booklet. And then I'll have both images because it's almost like an a evening and then a daylight. And they're, they're here all hours of the day. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I want to back this with something. And um, maybe I'll just find a vintage ledger page and back these. And then that will give me some journaling space as well because I would really like to journal about our day yesterday. So um, I'm kind of a day behind because today is the first, I mean a day, yeah, day behind. Uh, today's the first and so like yesterday's spread, I was talking about November 30 or 29th and now today I'm talking about November 30th. So I'm either gonna have to skip a day or do two days at once I think to get current in my in my book but the moral of the story is that we are memory keeping and I don't generally do that so the last time I did a December daily I believe was 2019 I'll have to look at it and see um, but yeah so this is really fun for me I love this and maybe I put him on there don't really need another flip do I so maybe I will just make that like a little booklet and we can tuck it in a pocket I think I like that idea because then that allows us to enjoy both of those images and I could put like a little piece of trim here and so it would hide that white space but give us a little bit more room for the inside I think that might be what we do so I want to, of course, add some shimmer to these pages, and I want to get this backed with something. I need to find what I want to back it with, get this cut out, get Santa cut out, and then I will come back. Oh my goodness, you guys, at the rate I'm going, I can promise you I am never going to get through this or be able to film every single day. I'm going to have to get a plan and do a better job about <clears throat> executing my plan. Okay. So I have my two pages and my pockets are glued down and this one I decided not to bling up um, and I didn't because I think it matches this better I don't know I think the sparkle ties over from this page but I like kind of I don't know this is kind of like the streets after it's been plowed it's just not the most brilliant and exciting <laughs> it's kind of I had to take a break and go out and shovel the end of the driveway or we're gonna be stuck in here and um but we won't be stuck I, that's the wrong word it gets really icy and um then like where the plow comes by plows come by we get multiple plows a day fortunately during all this snowmageddon is what i'm calling it we live on a state highway so we get plowed fairly quickly after they get i-90 cleared so that is a benefit like where we live so i'm grateful for that Okay, so I have here, and I haven't journaled about yesterday yet. I'm going to. And I keep thinking, do I just want to tuck this in here? But then I have to be really careful when I sew my signatures in how that's going to work. And I don't know if that's going to be enough room. And I love this piece, but now do I save this piece for a different day? And in all fairness, yes, I did see the Cardinals yesterday. I did not see them today. I have to remember, I'm doing this like as of yesterday. Okay, so I have the picture of Mark and I from yesterday. So I definitely, I kind of wish like that would fit, but it's just too wide and I don't want to cut the borders off. I really am enjoying printing the pictures. Um, so I am going to just slide that in there as like just a memory piece. And then I have where we were snow blowing yesterday. 
And, um, oh, and I wanted to say as a reminder, you guys, if you are trying to join the Facebook group, I will not accept you if you do not answer the questions and all of the questions. You cannot just answer like one or two of them and think that's sufficient. I'm very sorry. I know that sounds harsh, but due to, as I've said repeatedly, and maybe you're just new and haven't heard me say it before. Due to all the scamming and spamming and all those things that go on, I cannot allow people in the group that don't answer the questions. And I am so sorry because I want to say yes to everybody, but for the safety of those who are already members of the group, it's just very, very important that um, those those answer, those questions get answered, excuse me. So please make sure if I've de I declined two people today, um, I did send feedback about the answers, so if you are one of those two people that I did decline, please just re reapply and please just make sure you're answering the questions to get you in. Okay, so the story of yesterday, I will try to give you an abbreviated version. Mark and I had to clear the driveway, and um, it was crazy. I mean, we spent literally hours doing it. Did I say this already? I may have told you already. Then the four-wheel drive, yeah, I told you. Four-wheel drive went out of the neighbor's truck. And so he got stuck at the end of his driveway. We got him pulled out and then, or un un dug out, excuse me. And then we had to go and dig um, the top of the neighbor's uh, chicken coops out because his coops were gonna collapse. And then <laughs> I got stuck literally in the snow. Mark had to pick me up twice and then he decided the third time just to film me. So I will try to remember to put that clip in at the end of this. Um, fair warning, I was flying the bird at him. So if that offends you, don't watch it. Um, but it was good. We had a lot of laughter yesterday and it's so nice to have the sense of community where we live um, with a couple of our neighbors. So that is just a wonderful thing. So I really wanted to commemorate that. So here I did, you know, the little village and then I did Santa as a flip out. So I journaled about helping Dave with the chickens and how he went to play Santa. Um, afterward, he went down to a place called Andover, which is about a half an hour south of here. And they don't have the snow that we have. So he was totally fine going down to play Santa. So that was not a big deal. I am thinking with these pictures and stuff, you know what I think I, I want to do? I want to look and see what kind of an envelope we have in the uh, Festive Compendium, Festive Compendium Ephemera, because this is just not going to work. We have pockets, but I don't really see, I mean, that maybe, hmm, maybe I have that separate. I can't imagine there's not like an envelope or something that I could use to put the photos in, because they are just, I don't feel like they're gonna stay there very well. So I'll look for that when we're done. When we're done, I'll find something. I just don't think that this is gonna work quite like I was hoping that it would with putting them in here. And I printed more than I had anticipated printing as well. And I do want the cardinals in here. Maybe I do just like that. No. I'll figure it out, but anyway. Um, I could paper clip that in. So anyway, I hope that you guys are getting inspired by the things that we're doing and the things that I'm trying to play with and, and explore. Part of it is just using products because, you know, they do dry out, they go bad. Part of it is reminding myself how much I love to play with those products as well. And I was texting my friend and I said, this is really fun to be able to print the pictures and just like, have bits and pieces like if I knew how to make one of those waterfall thingies that would be cool just to set the pictures on that would be a lot of fun but these all pertain to the spread so they need to be in here somehow so for now though I'll just, just tuck them in there and one thing I didn't do is make a number two for this I keep not including my numbers in the days but you know what I think I'll do I think I'll put a little two right there in the in the box yeah, let's see if one of those stamps is small enough for that. If it's not, I will go to, oh, I know. Where do I go? Oh, they decided to clear it out. Hmm. Okay, that's too big. I don't know what 
I did with the stamps that I'm looking for. They're, pr they're right here. They're right here beside me. Okay. These are the ones that I had gotten from BB Craft. I love them. So that's just going to be a perfect little number two in the mailbox. You know, I'd rather a brown. We're just going to try it with Scorched Timber. It's okay. It's light. It, the paint's worn off. We can't see it because it's an old mailbox. There we go. All right, we have our number two on the page. I have to figure out a way to keep the um, photos organized in that pocket. And I also have to work on fixing the little girl's dress from yesterday. I still haven't done that. I have to get a plan for tomorrow and have to get a plan for the fourth because the fourth is my day for a commitment that I made for another collaboration. So that's not going to be using Tracy's kit, but it's going to be the style will be in line with what we're doing. And uh, I just have to get a plan. It's not going to be really complex. So at least number four will be a day that's not, you know, this stuff unless something happens. Oh, that's fine. Just like that. Unless something happens and I'm like, ooh, we have to include whatever on day number four. So what we look like now in our signature, and at this rate, we are going to be chunky monkey going forward. I need to make sure I'm putting some of the bulk at the top of my pages because I'm going to be too big at the bottom because look how big we are already. <laughs> Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that. I hope it inspired you to get your stuff out and play. And um, yes, so thank you so much for joining me. And I will see you in the next video. Uh, like, comment, share, subscribe. Thank you. Bye. I swear, you cannot make this stuff up. He had this all cleared yesterday. That's how much fell in less than 24 hours. husband that I am on video and this instead of helping my wife.